should be on. Um, look, e each level, you know, the thing of manifestation and God's will and influencing God's world. I mean, each level of consciousness is going to be different. You've got to understand that uh, things are occurring out of, out of one's levels of level of consciousness and the level of ego domina domination at each level of consciousness is different. Uh, the idea of a separated self doing something from a separate God is also shifting at each level of consciousness. And also, that which is orchestrating the ego choices is not necessarily orche orchestrating the ego choices at different levels of consciousness. Um, so, what does that mean? It means that when you're in a low level of consciousness, the idea of separation and that there is a separate me with a separate will from a separate God making, uh, and then I can pray to a separate God to make things that my separate ego wants discreetly to manifest in the world is very, very strong at a, at a low level of consciousness. So, but at that level of consciousness, what is actually the power of manifestation is your level of consciousness. So, you know, we, everyone's heard of the law of, manifest, uh, law of attraction. But actually, like, if you're at a low level of consciousness, you don't ha you're not connected much to the power of grace. So if you, if you try and visualize something and say, God, I want to get Ferrari by tomorrow morning, uh, you know, the, the, you, you're at an attractive field, which is influencing what will come to you, and your karma, which is going to be influencing what, you co what comes to you, and your prayers, which will be at the level of intention of your level of consciousness. So the type of things you'd ask God for would be, at a low level, tend to be more ungodly because they're divorced from spirit, because you're not, you're not connected to the spirit that much. But is that still God's will? Well, yes, you could say, uh, look, I mean, this is linguistics now, because you are what you are at each level of consciousness. So the thoughts that come to you and the things that you would ask God are at that level of consciousness. And the level, let's say that, to put it forward, the level of influence of the high levels of spirit are going to be quite low. And at, at low levels of consciousness, you're very much acting out your ego unconsciously at that level of consciousness. Because you're like a robot to the attractive field that's dominating you. So for example, if I'm at shame or fear as my dominant uh, energy field, I'm t to a large extent the idea of a separated self making individual choices. Actually, that separated self is being strongly influenced, the idea of a separate strongly influenced by the attractive field of shame. And I'm picking up great thoughts from the collective shame frequency. I might be an addiction, which are actually quite much, which are very strongly influenced by the collective field of the shame energy. And I'm thinking I'm having individual thoughts, which are my special thoughts of individuality. You know, like if, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a food 12-step fellowship. Actually, we all think we're having special thoughts, but we're all sort of probably thinking of like, a, like an extra donut or something, you know, it's like a collective thing. I think I'm so, I'm being influenced by the field. Um, to a large extent, I'm orchestrated to a, a lot, I mean, I have my individual karma, but uh, the field effect is also very, very strong. And the influence, because I'm not cleared enough of the ego away, the influence of the higher spiritual fields on the thoughts and the intuitions is very, is very reduced. So, I mean, you can have like a, like a, because you're using words, the idea, is there a separate self that's making separate choices? You know, but it, it, you know, there's, um, you could say there's the individual karma, there's the collective karma, there's the global karma, multitude of factors. And one is thinking one has a separate self, which is being totally autonomous from the field effect of that level of consciousness. So as you, as you do spiritual work, you go, you, what, you know, as you go up, say, from shame to like pride, the energy field of pride, and you think you're a separated self, but you know, you, your individual karma is having certain attractions, certain ideas and certain things, but you're also at that energetic field and those energetic collective thoughts that you're tuning into, which are also having an effect on what is the things that you're going to ask a separate God to try and get in your favor. As you go up the levels of consciousness, also understand even though you think you're separate, you're being, a lot of this stuff is coming from the higher spiritual realms, but you think it's your individual choice. 
So as you're going to 12-step groups, of course, in miracles groups, you know, you're, you're strongly affected by the field energy. And what you think is your separated will is being influenced, actually, from the realms of spirit. It's not really. So you might, like, in a, you know, like, you might, in, a Course in Miracles student might say, like, oh, I'm going to pray to God for world peace. But that's my separated idea of my individual will, uh, praying to God for world peace. But that's, like, a field, that's, to a large extent, you're clearing in the field effect. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it, it does. It just, it makes me realize more and more that the only thing that I can be responsible for is removing the blocks. And that's only, and that's it, you know? Mm. That's, that's, and the rest is so much, and even that is surrendering. Mm. It's like bottom lines, constant surrender, different layers. I prefer, I prefer the enlightenment route, which is transcending the world. That's the route I prefer. There's nothing wrong. I mean, even at different levels, <coughs> you'll have start to have more holy, holy, you, you'll be petitioning God with more holy ideas. So if you're doing A Course in Miracles, you might ask, well, I pray that this person be relieved of suffering, you know. So that's a more holy thing from a higher level of consciousness. At a lower level of consciousness, like, can I win the lottery ticket? So it's like at that level of power, um, your thoughts are being more, as a separated entity from separated from God, you'll be, you'll have, be having more s selfish petitions of God then more holy petitions of God as, as being in separate. When you get to high levels, you're more transcending your idea that you in separation need to ask God in separation for something to be influenced, and you're allowing yourself more to be a channel of divine's grace as you get. But each level is, is, is in and of itself complete. So the thoughts you have and your motives are, are complete, and you're being a pure orchestration of your individual and shall we say the global karma, you're an orchestration of that field effect. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 I think so. And there's nothing wrong, you know, I mean, you know, what's, what's going to, even if you're at a low level content and you ask to win the lottery tomorrow, you can pray for that, I mean, fine, you know, it might be granted, yeah, it might so not be. Sure. <laughs> but I just feel that uh, the letting go, the surrendering thing, the feeling, the feelings, it goes deeper. For me, because it's just surrendering. So I mean, because I can, I can say, can't yeah. I can say, yeah, that's great. But then, when, when I'm having something, like I'm having a, a certain disease or whatever, really, what's there to do is for me to surrender to it and just, just accept completely. Yeah. So you're transcending. You're, you're transcending the environment, and there's nothing wrong. I mean, as you go higher in your spiritual work you'll have much more spiritual intentions, and that's fine. To the extent that you're praying at a high level of consciousness, you know, you also have that power behind your prayer. So when you're calibrating an unconditional love and you put a prayer in, uh, or a thought comes, that's far more likely to, to happen. Um, you know, and I think even the random thoughts, I mean, I remember Hawkins saying a really random thing, and it happened with me uh, these random things, you have these thoughts and they materialize out of, out of thin air. And Hawk, I'll just say Hawkins one, I can say my one, it's quite hilarious. But, but Hawkins had this thing of like, on the TVs, you know, you have to use the remote controls and I didn't have like an image in the middle so you don't have to know, you don't know what channel it is. So he thought if they had a little image of whatever in the corner, then you'd know what channel you're on just by flipping through. And then it happened. And then all the channels started having little icons in the, in the corner. And uh, so for that, <laughs> my one was, uh, was like, I, I was, uh, you know, I thought broccoli. You know, broccoli. Bro bro broccoli, broccoli. Was the, I wish, I wish it was bro broccoli. And, uh, and then suddenly, like, all the supermarkets were having cheap broccoli. <laughs> and everywhere. And it was like, and I, think I knew that was, a, that was the miraculous. But it's a bit of a strange one. But it, I have a, yeah, I come from a certain background, <laughs> but anyway, uh, does that answer the question? Yeah, yeah.